Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Pathcraft Overview. This will be a relatively short intro because I essentially can just copy paste the Kartoffel one. It's essentially the same game with very similar mechanics, it's just in the different art style, so there's nothing really to add onto it. So Pathcraft is a lemming style VR platformer where across multiple handcrafted stages you have to guide a small and cutesy character through it and build its path along the way. Like I mentioned, we've already had a game like that. It seems like the only differences here are the handcrafted graphics and that you'll be be able to build your own levels and share with them. There are also unlockables in terms of the costumes and you can actually play it with hand tracking so maybe we'll do a focus on that. Because there's no really point to trying out the controllers since it's gonna work anyways, we know the concept so why not just switch it up and do it in a different way. There might be also a slightly different mechanics with the turning and the pathways because essentially you just control one character. So we'll see but it's not something that is like groundbreaking or brings anything new to the table like it is how it is. Let's go to the gameplay. Okay. This. I mean, this tutorial is kinda... Just need to read. <laughs> it literally just dropped you in. Like, I was so confused, but... That's here. Yeah, everything's fine. We have an editor, but I need to play a bit more to see what's going on. Are those environments? Yeah, okay. So he's just constantly walking here. Technically we can, yeah, do some other stuff as well, okay. David, you can be finished now. <laughs> That's why I told you it's very similar to Kartoffel. But I suppose you can solve it in different ways because I saw the leaderboards. I can't necessarily turn the ward, just move around it. So he's going in a... <laughs> right direction, I guess. Only. Like he's turning in the right one. If there's an obstacle... Okay, so it's not like dumb. You need to know his movement pattern as well. Because he's constantly moving, so... Sometimes it's not good to release him immediately. Yeah, this is why, because he's just turning when there's a wall. Okay. I. <laughs> On some levels, we'll be probably just 
move those blocks continuously. But I get it, like... It's clear now. Yeah, like, here's the scoreboard. I used technically 8, but I could have moved the previous ones. And then just, yeah, you get it. So knowing how he behaves... But as well are those counting when I'm moving? Okay, you know, I'm not playing for score. <laughs> yeah, I need to be careful to not release him too soon. But he's gonna turn right. Oh, that seems hard. Is he always turning right? Yeah, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. slow down, mate. I don't know how to get from here. Go. This has to be the last one. Hey, hey, no, no, no. <laughs> That's too... <laughs> okay. <laughs> we get it, like, I don't need to think about it more. Though it gets complicated real fast, I can tell. Like I mentioned, it's actually the same VR style lemmings thing. I mean, you can't really do it differently, I guess, not just sabotaging the whole genre. The art style is very cutesy, implying that it's for kids, but I feel like it would be too complicated for them. <laughs> if you're into those stuff, then I can totally see you playing it, but classically, it's not for me. But I see what's going on. <laughs> 